how to take it when somebody tells you you're the best. In sports, they call you an all-star if you're at the top of your game. In my business, they call you if Will Smith is too busy to do the movie. Sports are entertainment, yes, but of a more clear-cut variety. You make the shot or you don't. You win the game or you lose the game. That's not my reality. In show business, there's no standings, no records, no playoffs, no championships, just hecklers and critics. That's why we love sports. Success is not a matter of opinion. These guys are all-stars. They respond to the unforeseen as if it was expected. You know, spin it, make it part of the act. LeBron James, just 23 years old, and he's already been dominating the league for like 12 years. I mean, LeBron, Amari Stoudemire, unbelievable athletes. The list goes on. I remember when not going to college meant two things, paper or plastic. And, and don't get me started on Kobe Bryant. How many people can seriously be compared to Michael Jordan? That's like mentioning a comedian in the same sentence as Richard Pryor. That makes a career. And what about Allen Iverson, Jason Kidd, Steve Nash, still doing it. The little guys can be the toughest. I wish I had that attitude growing up. I would have probably taken a few less beatdowns. And the big men, Dwight Howard, Yao Ming. The NBA should let me play, because I got as much chance of stopping them as anybody else. Zero. It's the All-Star Game, and it's technically an exhibition. But you can't tell me these guys don't want to win. It's trick for trick. It's shot for shot. It's block for block. It's that oop valley oop. If there's ever a place to show out and act a fool, this is it. And in New Orleans, a city that knows a showman when it sees one, imagine having the crowd completely amazed without saying one word to them. That's a real performer. A true.